fights. Is Michael Moore now being introduced to the crowd? We saw him here on Friday Night Fights. Tribe with championship ring on Teddy. You and Michael have a tremendous history together. You accomplished great memories. Well, the Orthodox fight is not used to that jab coming from that angle. Okay. A little bit. And he has a kind of opponent where being away from the more talented fighter. His eligibility, he had a scholarship to go to North. Have as much talent as the man in front of him or near the experience. When Southpaws aren't used to fighting each other. Again, as I was saying before, Crow had a plan. I think that and Crow now. Crow's right there in front of him. Moore was having the strategy changes a bit. Teddy, wouldn't it behoove Crow to continue to stick with his Crow to stick to his plan and stay to the outside and move? I think that's that talent so much. You want to find ways to stay away. Then that talent of Michael Moore can be. Well, he's been away for a long time. I have Crow. In two fights ago, of course, Moore was, was Michael Moore has been away. Purposely abandoning his strategies, barking at Moore. Come on, hit me in the head. Crow loses his mouthpiece. That's what you want to do. And when Crow starts laying on those ropes, at the boxing end of his concern, he figures, let this thing end one way or for the cut on the right eyebrow. This is where Moore. That's how he won the heavyweight title. The first time against the Van Michael Moore. That come back a little bit in the picture. Very important. This is where Moore should take control right here. Nice combination. Nice here to make Moore work. Michael's been able to fight at the tempo he wants, paying enough attention to working the body. Well, that's not the same. Can you deduct the point, though, if the mouthpiece get punched out? Third time in the fight, the mouthpiece came out. The other two times, sort of. So that's a tough break for Crow. Yeah, it is. Maybe not getting rid of your mouthpiece to try to buy some time. That soft jab out there, you got to go to work off that. Now he loses. But Teddy, for Crow, doesn't the ref here point away for that? Jeez. Right hook there. I'm not so sure he wants to do that. At least not up to this point. Information. Second point was deducted. Pro losing the mouth. We're looking at where this mouthpiece comes out. And at the end in the first two rounds. Dale Grable, the referee, says the I might add. Now the cut on the right eye. So the doctor again, Lynn Squanda, will take a look. The eye was cut in the first round from an accidental weather. A lot of times. You know, we're not doctors, so... Yeah, like Arturo Gatti in Montreal against Joe Hutchinson. Because the bout did not complete five rounds due to the accidental cut. And there was no Things swelling. Things happened. No, no swelling. Blood wasn't running in his eye. Didn't... But, I mean, you see blood like that, you can't stop it because you see blood. I'm sure you would have wanted more rounds. Oh, absolutely. Just to get the work in. <laughs> I'm back. You know, I feel it. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my head. I don't... You know, I don't follow the game like that. Who do you think? Fight. I have to get a percentage as your manager now if I'm making a fight. <laughs> One, sort of like kissing your sister as we send it back to Brian and Max.